What's going on? It's Sean. We're back at it again. Do you have trouble sticking to those New Year's resolutions? Or are you having trouble in general just making habits stick? Well, I got good news for you. I'm going to give you three simple ways on how you can make those new habits stick for 2020 and beyond. Nerf this! So with it being the new year, you may have some new goals or maybe you just want to make a lifestyle change and maybe it's a change that you've already attempted to do in the past, but it's just something that you haven't been able to get to stick and honestly, that's most people because most people are stuck in that same place. So before I give you these tips, I just want to say nothing's going to change unless you do. You don't change unless you get outside of that little comfort zone and, and you take action. So if you are new here and finding my channel for the first time, my name is Sean and each and every video I do try to make you the best version of you. So make sure you click subscribe, hit that like button and you turn on notifications so you won't miss an upload. So number one, and this is a pretty practical step on how to make new habits stick. And that's really to place little reminders throughout your house on those habits that you want to stick. For example, if you want to visualize every night before you go to bed, and this is a new habit I'm trying to develop, uh, I would put it somewhere where you'll see it, put that reminder that is somewhere you'll see it before you go to sleep. So maybe you put a little note on your nightstand, don't forget to meditate before you go to bed. Or maybe you set a reminder on your phone and that'll alert you at the certain times on when to do said habit. Maybe it's you know, meditate in the morning. So set an alarm to do a meditation or place a note. Or if you're trying to adapt a habit like taking cold showers, maybe you'll put a note right outside your shower or right on your bathroom door that says cold shower. So setting reminders like this, whether it's something physical that you can see every day or even just putting an alarm in your phone to remind you, hey, I have to do this, that's just going to help you not forget to do it one and two. It's always going to be staring you in the face and kind of holding you accountable and that'll roll me into the second topic. But I got to go right now. I am going to my nephew's basketball game. Lord help me. So we're back at the Casa. Um, as you saw, a bunch of third graders playing basketball. It's not a very pretty sight, but I'm psyched to get an active and learning. Um, did a really good job on defense today. Uh, so I, those drone shots you saw um, were the last of, last of those, because um, I crashed it. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the wind. I think the mic I have up top, the dead cat mic uh, is, Pick, not picking up the wind, which is what it's supposed to do, but um, it's so windy. Uh, I flew the drone, and um, I literally could not get it to return, and the wind just kept taking it back, 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 and uh, it ran out of battery life and uh, died and crashed. So, got to get a new one. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm just gonna get something to eat, meet up with Lily, and. Uh, give you the second thing. So I think that Lily and I are gonna go out with uh, her grandmother and her parents uh, to get some late lunch, early dinner. Um, so I just had a protein shake uh, just to kinda curb my appetite a little bit. Uh, I haven't really had anything to eat, but uh, yeah, that was wild about the drone, man. RIP, moment of silence. It was a good drone, I have to get another one. Like I said, time for an upgrade. Um, so yeah, lesson learned, don't fly your drone if it's too damn windy, because <laughs> it's gone forever. I uh, couldn't find it. So anyways, uh, number two uh, is to get accountable, have accountability partner. And that could be a number of people. It could be a friend, relative, coach, uh, anyone, so even someone you met on the internet. But the key here is to make it someone you deeply do not want to disappoint. That way, when you go and report back to that person, 
you really don't want to tell them that you failed or you didn't do what you're supposed to do. So that's really the, the nuance to have an accountability partner. You just got to make sure it's someone that you really don't want to disappoint. You can put up all these reminders, like I said, like the note in the bathroom, the reminders on your phone, um, but knowing that someone's going to be checking in on you that you don't want to disappoint is going to give you that motivation and that spark to do the things that you know that you need to do. So that's number two on how you can stick to a new habit. It's something I, I highly suggest. Um, I try to have a couple different accountability partners uh, through Instagram, obviously, in my work life, personal life, Lily always holds me accountable, uh, so I'm very grateful for her. Um, but I'm hungry, so I think we're going to get going to that restaurant. So dinner was amazing. We went to a spot north of the city. Uh, we had Chinese. They had some really good lobsters, and it's uh, Lily's grandmother's favorite. So we went there. It's really good. I forgot to film anything in there. Um, just doing some laundry right now, uh, and then we're just gonna watch some of the NFL playoffs. R.I.P. to my boys, Patriots. We are out. We got upset by Tennessee. They were playing Baltimore tonight. I think that they're gonna get waxed, but I actually want Tennessee to win. Um, because I, I like an underdog, unless it's the Patriots going against an underdog, if that makes sense. Um, but I like to see the underdog win if it's not, obviously, against the Patriots. Um, I think uh, some of Lily's family's gonna come over and uh, we're just gonna hang out. Um, so we're just gonna kick back, relax, watch some of the game, uh, and enjoy. Uh, keep on watching, because after the games, uh, I'm gonna give you the third and final tip, and you're not gonna wanna miss it, because it's my personal favorite. Hey, uh, So I did not get a chance to finish this video, so I'm going to do it right now. Crazy that the Ravens got upset. I mean, that was just simply ugh, amazing. Um, that's okay. Um, they're going to be better next year, uh, come back even stronger. Happy for the Titans. I'm not happy that the Ravens lost. I'm happy the Titans won. Let's keep it positive. Let's keep it rolling. Um, so the last point on how to stay consistent and, and stay on track with your goals this year uh, to keep these habits that you want to form is the two-day rule. This is my favorite one. I picked it up from Matt Diavella. Uh, he, I'll link his channel down below. He instituted the two-day rule, which basically just is stating that you can't take more than two days off in a row in a week on stuff that you need to do. Kind of like what the power list is, you know, a daily, you know, task list of, of critical tasks that are going to move you forward. Um, this will allow breaks to avoid burnout. However, you cannot take two days off in a row. So if I skip the gym today, that's okay. I can take a rest day. However, I cannot skip tomorrow. So it'll never fully break your momentum. And I think that the thought of having that day off in your back pocket is, is great. But also knowing that you want to save it, right? Like if I've gone to the gym three days in a row and I have that day off in my back pocket, I'm like, you know what? Let's just grind through this. I'll take Friday off or I'll take Saturday off or I'll take Sunday or whatever day you want to take off. Maybe you got something coming up during the week and you're not going to even be able to make the gym. You can save that day off in your back pocket and just get right back onto it the next day. And so he actually illustrates this on his calendar. Every day that he skipped, he is blacking out, and, and every day that he's gone, he's just Xing off, keeping track and knowing that if he took Monday off, he can't take Tuesday off. So the two day rule is really going to help keep you consistent, help you develop those habits that you want to develop, and make sure that you won't take more than one day off and, and you and you stay on track so i hope all that makes sense to you and i hope this helps you uh thank you so much for watching again my name is sean and each and every video i do try to make you the best version of you make sure you do all that fun stuff like subscribe leave a comment how do you develop new habits any tips or tricks you got let me know in the comments below um i'll catch you next time signing off